Hi guys and welcome to another Rodeo at Ateo, this time in RTSL as we are both in the top division this season Only last Sunday uh, Jarek and me led Poland together with Tomek Stuczek to the semi-final of the Nations Cup and alas Today we are enemies, and he will be a purged enemy. Okay, with the goal and Suez in hand, I'm not entering France. So the goal will be played for ops. Suez, uh, space health, we'll see. If I had socialist in hand, I would have went to have, uh, for for three three, but as it is now. With the purge four four two is the choice. An overall nice hand, solid ops. Lacking D cards, of course, and C is not something I prefer to see in my hand. Hey, socialist, who knew? Nuisance. So if he succeeds in cleaning me out of Italy, I'll have to play the goal. <clears throat> mm, he doesn't even try it. Interesting. Okay. Gonna think a bit. Uh, okay, the canon move would be to play Romania abdication. Ah, okay, the canon card to play, maybe. But. Huh. Again, he entered Yugoslavia, so the odds are good he doesn't have it. It being in the bent rats. Mm, okay, but still, I'll settle for Romanian. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> I will definitely not settle for Romania application here. No way, Jose. Okay, that's annoying. Okay, I guess I'll go for CIA then. That's giving up piece of important knowledge, that is true. But also might suggest to my opponent that I have a weak hand, which is far from true. Okay, that I can ignore. Early the goal means Truman is now well, with some benefit. Also means there is no rush in me spacing. Guess I can even hold Suez since why not? It's a good blockade to discard. I know I could have played Suez for ops first. Maybe I should have. Hmm. Yeah, upon consideration, that was probably a stronger move as I am already out of control in the UK. Hmm. 
And again, it is still useful three ops. Oh, yes, that is definitely accurate. And definitely a cool target. That worked. Okay, if he gets unfair, he got a good roll. How rude. Okay, I know, I know, he missed the first roll, I got great roll in Vietnam. Okay, that's Lebanon, I guess. Mm -hmm. Okay, I have to enter France eventually. Might as well do it now. Would be kind of ridiculous if he had no ease, but nah. Can't believe that. Things are now. Okay, that's annoying. Let's poke. Q is too risky. Odds are too big that I'll just miss it. Besides, I want the counter coup after his coup. Yeah, Europe is safe. The goal is where social is all played. Huh. Not ideal. I have to space the call, hold this stop, play everything else. He could have Cambridge, which would make his attack on Europe worthwhile. And I have crappy ops, so I guess Europe it is. With a better hand, I would have went for the domination, of course. Yep. Cambridge. So he knows I don't have Middle East, which was kind of obvious after just seeing Europe. Since I would have had like that over Europe in a heartbeat. But I guess means also he doesn't have two scorings. One at most. Okay, Marshall or US Japan? Marshall. And the winning coup goes to. Ah, crap. Okay, but he has no way to get access here. So I guess I'll coup. And hope I can get a decent result. In Egypt, the odds are just too poor. Oh, come on! That's getting annoying. So, an easy domination in the Middle East for my opponent. I know Algeria, but I wanted to be 
in South Korea before he can do anything about it. Lag boosted. My ops aren't that great. In fact, they're pretty crappy. But okay, Asia should be an easy draw after Korea. Not more, I mean, I'll take Taiwan, he takes Pakistan. <clears throat> okay, conscience doesn't allow me to just leave Algeria hanging like this. he can enter with Germany. Which means I have to enter with Germany. He doesn't have me least. Huh. How important it is to get the scoring in the correct time. Had I got him at least this turn? Well, oh, that's huge. Instead of Europe, preferably. <laughs> an easy 5, no, 6 VP. Okay, that's useful. Right you are, sir. I'm going to gamble on Thailand that he doesn't get decal. Okay, the cards around the factors, of course, Middle East, which will hurt. Let's see, Marshall, NATO, all the four ops. No, not your test, but still. Okay, I know I'm risking with the socialists around, but let's set up a domination. Still around us in coming back potentially. Okay, I have the factors. He knows I have the factors. Hmm, there's not much I would like to defect here. Socialists. Okay, he knows the first five cards in my hand. Socialist, the purge. Okay. He did not get Deco, which is key. Mm, okay, that will hurt. I'll headline release, I'll just wait for him to headline first. <laughs> So 
So he will enter the mid war. What a significant VP advantage. Eight mil ops, that's ten. Could get two more from space. Okay, let's hope it's not socialist or the purge. Okay. Could be useful to damn it. Okay, that it's getting dangerous. Mm -hmm. That's getting annoying. Okay, let's enter Thailand in case he has Asia. Twelve or even fourteen minus possibly one from my space. That's disturbing. In cards, I forgot to take into account. So, time to spread around a little bit. Thirteen, eh? <laughs> of course, I'm going for Niger Nigeria this turn already. Damn it, maybe I should have entered Pakistan. Whoa! He gives back to it. Interesting. Ay! Not ideal. Not ideal at all. I mean, I'm safe. Yes, he's making good rolls, gotta give him that. Hmm. Hmm. He has to, has to make these rolls, right. Ah, ok. 
Okay. Not ideal. Not horrible. South America and Junta. Southeast. Yes, that is good. I guess Junta is a good start. Oh, too many scorings. Could have made it without one or two of them. Since, well, I will have to underscore some of them. For example, I won't be able to fight for South America. And the map is very vulnerable. Europe, uh, socialists get him the domination. Central, liberation, or ABM, of course. Yes, that liberation, that precise card is the one I had in mind. Whoa, okay. Not that it helps me much, though it would have had he made a worse roll. have to score South America immediately, sadly. Whoa, okay. That's a domination. Oh, come on! Really? I might lose this game this very turn if this goes on. Okay, probably not, but crap. Clever critter, at least I'll get Mexico. Over this. <clears throat> Come on, really? At least it's not a five. <sighs> of course, you can just cue that back. No problem there. Chose not to do okay. I wonder if he has Africa, because he'll be annoyed by me scoring domination here. <coughs> yeah. Okay, let's get out of central. very well negating Africa and Europe and due to my crappy and loaded hand I had to allow that and now Saudi Asia hmm that 
that's all scoring except for Asia, interestingly. I didn't even bother with the space to block his second attempt since he doesn't have milops yet, so that's one thing he should probably consider here. No rat, interesting. Another six, luckily not as important this time. I guess I should space. Ah. He reminded me that this is a 45 minute game. Okay, that can cover his plate, so I guess. Well, could have used that card earlier. Although I can use it now as well. OPEC is a problem, and, and what? He could have ABM, Massive Evolution. Okay, I guess Mr. Envy is decent here. Asia will be hard to get unless he has ABM and goes against talent, of course. Should still should be able to get it wrong. Okay, I guess if it's safe-ish enough, even with him peeking, that's what I have to do. Since I cannot hold Kennedy with this hand, Oh, that's promising. It was more or less. God damn it! Or God damn with you, which means Massim or ABM, maybe. Unless I am quagmired, which would make sense considering he gave me Nora last turn. I'll be playing Kennedy for the event. Wow, that's useless. Oh, semi. Yeah, that wasn't a gift I hope to get. So, only Asia, right? Might need to hold on to Marshall to fight him off in South Korea. Okay, that's an event. That's a coup. I would love to for this card to be an event as well, but that might not be possible. We'll see though, if I'm playing Kennedy, I'll have more firepower after all. Do not now. Now I need to spread everywhere. Okay, let's assume I will get a coup card from Kennedy. I don't need to protect South Korea yet with Marshall in hand. Okay, it worries me that I left Poland like this. And yes, that's also vulnerable. But alas. Uh, 
first chance I get, so when I'm not attacked anywhere, I will use Kennedy. Brush for who knew? Damn it. So much for another of my good regions. Not. Ideal. Okay, hopefully I'll have a moment to play VOA on him. Oh, he quagmires me and I have a problem. I won't be able to get both Panama and Argentina. And I know I could have used VOA immediately here, but prefer to use the against uh, uh, sorry, Panama and Argentina instead of Argentina and Uruguay. Unless he defends them now. Okay, he defends that. Which is less relevant, luckily. So Panama returns to the motherland and let's threaten uh, let's threaten Argentina since why not Time to coup soon. Gotta watch out for chair. So I guess I'll probably use Cam David for ops. But first put one in Panama. I know, I know, no rat. But what can I do? No ops yet. Though the situation definitely got more dire with me losing Southern South America. Since I'm way behind the Middle East, I mean Sadat aside that will be his control. Not ideal in Asia, though shuttle diplomacy could help with that. There's Europe always, of course. I am ahead in Central. Oh crap! So, what I said in Europe about Europe, never mind. Them. <laughs> yeah, I do admit I forgot all about it. I kept Quagmire in memory, but I forgot about that one. Okay, I'm not giving him free I end there, so 
guess it's Camp David for the band, since I really need that one. For Sadat's sake. Hey, he did not have quite my after all. Okay, he might have colonials and grain cells. Ay, 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 that's an issue. Yeah, I really don't want to help him with that. He could have brushing, of course, but okay, let's go for nuclear saps. I need to retake Africa at least. CIA is still around, of course. Okay, if he Brezhnev's out of grain sales, then I will bear trap him AR7. Intervention is around, so don't rush with U2 incident. Uh, yeah, I was too greedy with West Germany, with blockade. Too distracted, maybe. If I get Africa bat back, it's well, without losing too much ground elsewhere. And yes, I already lost a bunch in Europe. Okay, given that John Paul is also around, I can't use Bear Trap. Not in this turn, uh, maybe on AR7 if I get something out of him. Okay, that's something, I guess. No, it's never going to fight for. Okay, that's interesting. Right, need some tree ups for a later fight. No, not Comic Con, and I won't be salting anything this turn, so. Okay, Angola, due to its access to South Africa, requires a bit of extra attention. Not too worried about Panama, I was half OAS to get there. do it for quite some time in fact okay let's build up Canada since if I hold quadmire that's something that needs to be done and Despite all my love for Bear Trap, that's something I think I have to ignore. There are too many powerful US 2 ops, and he just played Brezhnev for ops, which 
Okay, depending on his hand, might have been a mistake. Chair for influence, wow. That I think I can ignore. Hmm. Although I really don't like to ignore that. Okay. Okay. We are still fighting for Asia after all. <clears throat> Okay, that's something you shouldn't be using for too big a threat. <laughs> Clever. But now I have to start ignoring him. means I can probably use OAS for ops here. It is very annoying after all. Ah, yes, yeah, so was this. That's insufficient. Come on, sorry, grain, colonials, John Paul. Where are you guys? Ah, crap. Really? Okay, I have to risk another realignment then. Oh, come on! Hmm, right, helps with that. Holding the purge, so none of the good stuff. Now, to bet I did not hold bear trap then. His last cards were... Okay, Fidel. Yes, he gets it, I know. Barely so, but still. Okay, one more time. One, one, two, I have my rolls. Crapping. Crap, crap, but okay, I have no red active. He doesn't have Quagmire. Okay, can't play the factors. I will not go for duck and cover even if we oh we had seen Will Berry but still. Asia is around. He has grain sales, which is relevant. Colonials is the obvious play here. And hope he didn't get anything noteworthy. Actually, shuttle diplomacy later. Huh. <coughs> well, maybe even ABM would have been a nice headline, but I don't exactly believe I can get Asia domination here. Although, yeah. Shuttle later if he gets careless. Ah. Will still not get me match. Yeah, if I 
if Shadow Hill just takes South Korea from me. No big deal. What might still be useful? Actually, I maybe could. No, if I strengthen South Korea with no rat and then play shuttle, he'll take Japan instead. So not ideal. Ah, I of course forgot about that. So he's all clear. That convines. I actually I might get arms raised with ABM. As much as I would have liked. Ah, let's create a tiny thread. Try to realign me. Nigeria is such an obvious target after all. Ooh, missed that. Well, unfortunately, I don't have the scoring. Hey, you can try again. No. By the way, is it possible he has five year plan? No, it's like to look at it to just sorry, remind myself how it looks like. Makes searching for it a bit easier, but here it is, so no. Huh. Not to space. Okay, that goes away, that goes away, that goes away, and Junta course also goes away. Yeah, night is not even active but might but become one day. Okay, 
Right, Africa back in the fold. The map isn't that bad. Nora is active. Central is good. Africa is great. Really sucks big time, of course. He finally started missing some rolls. Okay, let's set up a domination of South America. Could be useful. Okay, that was a relatively painless quagmire. No, Michelin V, how dangerous is it? Duck is still here, well Barry is as well. So it's up to Cal and CMC I think. It had both and no other four ops. That's the only way he gets me. Sold for grain. <laughs> yes, I think it's the only scenario. Need to lower DEFCON before me. And. No. Cal, regardless of the four ops he, are, he might have, and CMC. He needs to have those two cards, no other conditions. So my position isn't that great. Without him seeing my headline, we've done it in a heartbeat. Needs to have gotten two specific cards out of well, 46. Plus, however, he got this turn. He got nine. So that's two specific out of 55. Not gigantic odds. <clears throat> yeah. I'm too much of a gambler, I know. But I really just like the idea of brutalizing opponents air one. Make it a two up, even if I get something less relevant than I would have liked. And yes, I know there are scenarios of loss with Olympics as well. But okay. First of all, I ignore those, and unless it's mid turn or something. And second of all, it's here. By the way, <laughs> recently won uh, an interesting game against Paul Yu when in turn seven his last move was Mr. Envy against my hand of one, which happened to be Summit. <laughs> and even Summit, but I got lucky. Okay, and the tension, the adrenaline, and he doesn't play immediately, which might mean that either he's composing a sufficiently scathing message about my move, or he doesn't win this instant yet. And of course, should he have me least OPEC, whatever, VPs, war games combination? That's something to help with that. Since my overall prospects are decent ish, <laughs> another Muslim revolution. <laughs> That's the second time. Okay, at least NATO. Ah, I hold NATO. But that's somewhat useful. I mean, Europe is a bit of a problem. Of course, that does not mean he doesn't have 
war games and some winning setup. Okay, can I steal anything relevant? But already Egypt is relevant, so I need to take this and move on. Africa is still dominated, which is as good as it gets. Establish some threats. I'll try to hold Chernobyl, but could not be possible, of course. By the way, he hasn't played China in the entire game. Bloody big ups. Okay, still dominating central, but since this is getting away, let's coup. Or I don't have to coup. Don't believe in teardown, though maybe. Hmm. But I really want to take Israel. Since that helps me establish a draw in the Middle East. After I hopefully brush Libya. Ah, he did have it. Too bad. Okay, that's taken care of. First off, avoid loss. Then consider winning. Threaten here. And my AR7 will be turned on, by the way, since that will create a holy mess in Europe with some attempts to realign West Germany. Okay, that's an opportunity. Worked. No great secondaries, I'm not going to risk even at plus two, but I can risk at zero. <clears throat> okay, improved central, lost a bit of ground in Africa, sure. Improved Middle East, greatly so, in fact. Now it's time to improve Europe. Our time is not brilliant. Okay, that's what threat. Ah, that's something I can ignore. Maybe I should have boosted Benelux first. Too obvious, maybe. Ha! Ah. So, could have been better, but not by much. Okay, keeping France is worthless. Could give Poland a try. Although, that could jeopardize Chernobyl. <laughs> Actually, I'm dominating Europe now.
Ha. Do I go for Poland at minus two with barely any risk? Eh, let's do that. And one more. Ah, oh well. And now I can bear trap. Or Chernobyl, that's also good. Key feature, still no gunman. I really like Bertrand since that gives back Africa and could also I can also play Chernobyl later. He cannot take West Germany and East Germany in one move after all. I know I could help be helping him, but okay, grain cells is not here. So he doesn't have anything well, life threatening. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah, he gets out. Okay, I have to in Turkey, so I could cancel that immediately. That being the CMC. But let's first see if he's willing to challenge me in Europe. No more blockade. Ah, maybe Chef went for his Germany. Warsaw is played, right? Or wrong, Warsaw is not played. Ah, good thinking then. Okay, but now I don't need to invent Chernobyl, I can just play it for ops. It would be annoying if I had to give up this doll, replying to whatever he does. He then would regain Cuba. Okay, that shouldn't be too harmful not a problem okay let's make him think I'm worried not that worried of course which one do I actually this cell might not be that big of an issue This is gone, so that's two. That's a two. That's a four, but in less relevant regions. And also it's a tree up, which I might need badly. Don't enter Cuba before Ortega, of course. Do remember about CMC. In fact, I'll just cancel it right away after it's my move. It's been ages since I've met someone who did not play China throughout the entire game and it's turn 9. And he definitely was Chinese when I did. Mm -hmm. From Turkey. Yeah. Resolve Ortega. Mm. 
Yeah, you know, Saharan provides better value, but for now I'm going for a sure thing. No right, this time we'll get him a draw in Africa. I doubt a nuisance. Hmm. Asia is scored after all. <clears throat> Whoa. I am giving up pressure, but not like this. Not Zaire. Since after Brezhnev, it would have been a bit too likely for him to be able to do that. And yes, he could space something, but it won't be Colonials, Voice, Grain Sales. Could be Nixon, but... Okay, he doesn't have it. Ah, uh, yes. I know. Let's do it like this, then. <coughs> Okay, so far so decent. I have three dominations, all unscored. He has none. He does have China. Time advantage is mostly relevant, though do we play until 15 minutes since I set timing correctly. There is a DEFCON loss threat. Yes, that is true, sadly. And Osori is not around to help me, I believe that, or intervention. So if I get gunman, he gets aims, I might lose. Did not get gunman, which is good. What did he do with this town? East Germany is the extra one. Makes sense. Okay, let me refresh that. Alliance plus Europe plus World Games should win the game. On the count of reformer can't really headline Europe. Won't give him domination, but it would trouble mine. And I know he could steal it with. <laughs> Whoa! Really? Okay. That works. He has some back end cover, which is here. And he ditches war games, sure, but don't really help him much. Not at all. So that's a GG. I 
could have spaced first, but really don't need to bother. <coughs> Went downwards quickly. Gotta go guys, thanks for listening, thanks for watching and keep your fingers crossed for my future games in the RTSL and ITSL and whatever other tournament I will participate in. And of course, go Poland! Israel is next. Cheers! <laughs>